heard you say Meet you in the long grass Something good at long last When we're away Next to me I found you by the old tree Something we can both see this is the astrological update for Taurus for the week starting the 11th of April. It's a super powerful week and some excellent news should be coming to you this week. Kicks off with Venus trining Mars. This is particularly powerful for you and you are opening up your heart to experiencing something that will feel almost transcendent from a different world. It may be that you meet someone that you have karma with. It may be that you heal something karmically. Maybe, actually, you have the best passionate experience of your life this week. Very, very intense. But either way, you are waking up from a long sleep. On top of that, we have the Star of David. This is very, very powerful. It shifts our energy. It evolves us. It transforms us. I am including Vesta and Juno, two powerful goddesses that pack a punch. And within this, it's doubly powerful for you because Mercury, the planet of communication, is in your sign and it's trining Jupiter. Basically, it's all about you reconnecting to your joy, to your passion, for your desire in life. And some fabulous thing should be heading your way this week. So on top of that, we have a mystic rectangle on the same day. My friend Helen describes this as in an envelope shape and it's like a message, a letter from the gods. But for you, it's talking about happiness this is a time where you're stepping into being happier than you've been for possibly many years and look around you and decide what makes you happy. On the 14th, Mercury in your sign is trining Jupiter and it's just, you know, you're coming into yourself. You have the opportunity to love yourself, to love your life again. If you've had a tough time, this week really should be a breakthrough. There may be something on the 17th where you're having to deal with some pain connected to the past, some primal wound and you may be, it's very important you're not self-destructive after the 17th, but you keep that positive feeling that's coming this week and keep your heart open and, you know, yeah, heal the past, but don't get dragged into any situations, particularly obsessive or primal ones from the past. And, you know, don't hide, be open about who, who you are. And it could be that there's a secret that's going to be revealed, which changes everything, but fingers crossed in a good way. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. Let's go far today. It's all gonna be fine. If you like this, please come to my website where there's thousands of articles from Psychic to Soulmate and lots of free tarot readings, www.michellenight.com. And for all the written astrology of this month, week, or even day, go to horoscope.co.uk. Take care. Oh.